fellow Amazonians, uh, this is Dr. Chua Yaba. I want to address a couple of issues. Um, yesterday, uh, our forces in Guzan were attacked and uh, quite a few number of them were killed. Uh, I really want to congratulate uh, General Savio and uh, his counterpart within the Amazonian Defense Forces for having fought together like one army, defending one people, defending one country. That is the spirit we need. As I, I have said repeatedly, we will continuously disagree on, um, on policies, on strategies, and on mechanisms of implementation. But in the face of a threat on our sovereignty, on the lives of our people, on our territorial integrity, I think all of us agree that we will have to defend ourselves. And I pray that our forces heed to this approach. We will continuously have uh, persons who attempt to exploit every situation for their political advantage, for their survival. But those who are killed in, in, during attacks on our forces have moms and dads. They are not simply soldiers. They are brothers and they are sisters and they are, they are, they are fathers. They are uncles and they are children of some parents. And so if we have this in the back of our mind, we will ensure their survival than the political capital we gain from whatever they are doing. I encourage these forces to continue to work together to defend themselves, to share intelligence and logistics in the defense of the homeland and for their own personal survival. Um, the second issue I'd like to address is the refuge situation in, in Bamenda. Haizakam is banned from Amazonia. That's a clear statement. And we will encourage local companies to um, get into removing trash from, the, from our various cities, not only Bamenda. We are talking on contingency measures that we need to put in place to have a to have clean cities because uh, trash in the city has uh, implications on the health of our people and their productivity so we are having discussions and in the coming hours we are going to make some public statements on, on how we move forward but our people must know independence means independence and we have a foreign policy doctrine that is pro Amazonia and still pro the world. But as we must understand for more than 123 years, our lives have been managed by others. Um, our country transferred from the Brits to the Germans, back to the Brits and from the Brits to the French. We must take responsibility over the affairs of our country. When you fight and bleed and die for independence, you want to be the masters of your destiny, the managers of your resources, and the architect of your own political, social, and economic approaches. And in this struggle, we should not postpone these important issues. We must take control. Independence means independence. We will be working on something novel that will be replicated across the, the territory. Um, there are different things that we've put in place and the CEMAC number plates are not required within, within our cities. Our population may ask, oh, what should we do? In struggles for liberation, alternatives are not immediate. The rejection of uh, colonialism is the primary objective of liberators. And they have also a responsibility to provide alternative. But 
the aspect of being a dissident, a rebel, is rebelling against an established political system that does not serve your interests. If you always think about what the alternative would be, you will never start. We are working on alternatives, but these number plates are not allowed in our country. A last message to everyone. Ambazonia will never become part of La Republic again. It will never. And I just want to remind those who are always contemplating on betraying Ambazonia, those who have made their careers on exploiting the plight of our people for their interests, that you are on the wrong side. Don't think that the status quo ante will be restored. Never dream ever that there will be any arrangement now or in the next 1,000 years that will make Ambazonia coexist with La Republic as one country. It's not going to happen. This struggle in which we are is a one-way street to freedom. Those who oppose it, those who delay it, you are temporal obstruction. If we cannot go around you, we will smash our way through you. Let nobody sit and say, oh, maybe we can side with the enemy because, you know, this thing may not work. We will have our bad days as Ambazonians. We will lose our fighters. We will lose battles. We will lose complicities. But the spirit in us to escape this yoke of colonialism and denigration is so powerful that even our dead bodies will fight. Every day, what we think about is buying enough guns for the defense of our country. I had a meeting last night on it. I have another one this night on it. I met with all ADF commanders on video yes, yesterday to talk about it. How to eliminate La Republic from our country. Don't contemplate it. Don't doubt it. We are the only people who in five years have done it their own way. And we've proven ourselves beyond reasonable doubt that we are masters of innovation and that we can only improve with time. Believe in Ambazonia. Hail, hail this land of glory. We, the Ambazonians. We don't blink. We will not compromise. Our forebears compromise our land. Others compromise with their lives. We compromise everything, our educational system, economic system, political system, in return for humiliation. God bless you all.